You may have seen the movie last year, Don't Look Up. Well, tomorrow, astronomers telling us to do the opposite. They say do look up because the moon will look very different than we're used to. And as Paula Tutman reports, this lunar eclipse promises to be one heck of a show. Well, we missed the last lunar eclipse because that was back in May and we didn't have great weather for it. The weather this time is supposed to be amazing. Of course, we know that eclipses tend to have an historical bad rap through the ages, but now because of science and we know so much more about them, now they just have a cool factor. Some ancient myths call the blood moon a harbinger of coming evil, but science has identified the wonders of the full lunar eclipse as, and this is a technical term, really cool. So what makes this kind of a cool eclipse is it happens near moon set. So the moon's going to be heading towards the horizon. So we may be afforded the luxury of seeing a fully eclipsed red moon that looks enormous because it's going to be close to the horizon. Mike Narlock, the chief astronomer for Cranbrook's Institute of Science, walks us through the wondrous 85 minute sky show tomorrow morning. This line here represents the penumbra, which is a fancy way of saying it's a very, very light shadow. Once it hits the umbra, this is the dark part of the shadow. And what happens is that's the part of the shadow that looks nice and red. So the first thing you have to do is convince your body that you want to get up at a ridiculously early hour. Depending on your level of commitment, the show actually starts a little after four tomorrow morning. Things really get started a little bit after five o'clock when it starts to go through the dark part of the Earth's shadow. The first thing you'll see is the shadows seemingly taking a bite out of the moon. And that bite will get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until eventually the moon will be in entirely engulfed in the Earth's shadow. You can move around and get some other things done and then keep coming back because this is a process that takes nearly an hour and a half. But the big event will be when the moon is completely blocked as it moves through the Earth's shadow. And this is what you really want to make sure you're watching as the moon goes from silvery to blood red. That's going to happen around six in the morning. When you go out walking like on a beautiful sunny day and you look at your shadow, our shadows look dark, but the Earth's shadow is red. So when the moon, the big bright silvery moon goes through the Earth's shadow, it's going to go from that silvery white color to a deep red color. By 730, the moon is set and it is done. Okay, so of course what you're looking at right here is the dome of the observatory here at the Cranbrook Institute of Science. You don't need all of that because this is a naked eye event. So unlike a solar eclipse where you cannot look directly at it, this is a lunar eclipse and you can look directly at it. The only equipment you really need, so you don't need any fancy equipment, are your very own peepers. However, Jason, if you do decide you want to use binoculars or a telescope, you do need to make sure you have a specialized moon filter because of when you amplify the image you amplify the brightness and that could be damaging best to just look at that great big fat red moon with your own eyes because it is supposed to be spectacular <laughs> yes Paula coming up. through with the I science with a big fat red moon you, yeah bring it in there you go good stuff thanks big Paula. fat red moon <laughs> <laughs> you got a little energy right fantastic yeah.